So, based on the success of me rebuilding this battery pack, uh, this Makita battery pack, a couple of months ago, I thought I'd challenge myself as I noticed these new kits available on the web. I think it was AliExpress, may have been eBay. Um, but yeah, is this a challenge too far? Have I bitten off more than I can chew? Keep on watching to find out. So in the pack we have the clamshell of course, the lid, we've got the button, we've got some sort of um, support structure for the batteries because these batteries will be in two rows whereas uh, in this pack they're just in a single row. Of course we have the control board with its uh, connector and various chips and bits and pieces there mister and also a little bit surprised to find in here let's just get rid of this of course we've got the screws we also got the various tabs that we need to do to weld these cells together so sort of surprised to get these in the pack but that's a bit of a bonus just need to work out the pattern of how to use these with this particular arrangement. So I've taken a quick look online and this looks like a, an older design of the internals of the Makita battery. The newer ones seem to have a fully encapsulated uh, plastic end on both ends of the cells, uh, making it much harder to actually disassemble if you're looking to, to harvest batteries out of there. But uh, the other thing I noticed also with uh, the older style of batteries like this, they have a central stiffener down in between the two uh, rows of cells. Now, that hasn't been given in the kit, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring in the old hot snot gun and make sure all these cells are actually put together and um, braced against each other before I um, join them up electrically. In terms of the PCB, I think this is fairly straightforward. We've got a cutout thermistor here just to make sure if the batteries go over temperature that it stops charging. So that needs to be put in between the two rows of cells. And if I can get this the right way around. So there is one screw hole here for this shorter screw. So this is similar to the um, I can line that up, yeah. So that um, is going to go on like so. So the negative is going to be down this end. The positive is going to be down this end. So I need to make sure that that's the first cell here. It's negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and then obviously ends up as being positive on this side. So that's fairly straightforward. This line here. This, I believe, I just have to check maybe my, my old pack here. This line goes on the first cell, so that this printed circuit board actually runs off only, um, say, 3.7 volts nominal to one cell at one end. And that obviously is, is um, quite often when this cell is more stressed because this is permanently connected to the printed circuit board to keep it alive. Uh, and that obviously causes that cell um, more, what can I say, more duty. Okay, so here I have, um, let's create a bit more space. I've got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten cells here, brand new cells. So these are Sony cells which are which are usually used in uh, these Makita batteries. And this is a, a VTC5, Series 5 battery. I'll put the uh, links in uh, down below. This isn't the most uh, up-to-date battery that you can get from Sony in this sort of range. I think it's the VTC6. But this seems to be the best um, price point for energy density and uh, cost at the present time. Certainly that my wallet could uh, survive anyway. So what we're going to do, I can remove that printed circuit board. And as I say, we want it to start with negative on this end. 
positive negative positive negative I've done some welding on some of these cells um, for a prior project actually but they, they haven't actually been used in active uh, active service so yeah these uh, do look like they're used but they're essentially oh what am I doing doing it all wrong so just dry fitting these so you can see how it all goes together and then we'll be using these double plates across where the positive loops cross to the negative and then these two single ones will be used at one end for the negative which is this end and then on this underside for the positive so let's think about how to best hot snip this together I'm thinking probably in stages might be the best idea. So making sure that I've got the uh, spacings correct and them all lined up together. I think I'll start by doing this layer thus. Okay, now they have uh, cured off, or cooled down rather. I'm just wondering if I can get some, maybe extra. I can possibly put a little bit in here, and also in this one. But it looks like, because of these ridges, I'm a little bit uh, restricted to maybe just a, a small amount in the middle. Let's just try that now. So yeah, I just had to remove a little bit of hot snot and then reapply it. And I've actually put it down, uh, or rather put the cage down whilst the hot snot was still hot. So that should be in position permanently. Just checking the PCB again. That comes down to the negative on this side comes back to what will be the positive on this side so that's all looking good let's start thinking about getting some of these connectors on just as a bit of um, extra protection on the positive side I'm going to use these little paper donuts maybe should have put these on first Absolutely yes is the answer. So what are these for? Um, well, the mylar coating down the outside of the battery is covering all the negative terminal. This being the positive terminal, it's actually very close to the negative terminal and so anything was to chafe away and work through this mylar, you'd get a dead short between positive and the negative shell. So yeah, these paper donuts just give you that little bit of extra protection on that positive terminal. So let's have a look now at connecting these all together. So again, let's double check, triple check. This is going to be the negative. So the first from negative coming across through to here 
we're going to want to put a double connection on the cells thus. Okay, before we uh, solder these up, let's just do a quick check. Negative down here, positive up here. 17.6 volts, that looks good. I've been uh, fairly careful with this now because we uh, quite a bit of voltage. That doesn't seem to sit very well at all. Seems to be canted up. That's not very satisfactory. Yeah, that's um, a little bit less than satisfactory. I think what I'll do is epoxy that down in position just with some Loctite. Okay, let's see if we can pop that screw in now. I don't think I'll over tighten that. This may take quite a bit of uh, heat. Okay, popping that wire on there was a little bit tricky. Just burnt the plastic a little bit. Um, but um, such a large metal area and that's connected, it's uh, quite difficult to get a solder joint, so I had to put quite a lot of heat into that. I'm just going to um, put a bit of more protection on the outside of the battery terminals.
Okay, that seemed to go together pretty well. Um, whether the case is actually as good quality as um, the original, probably not. Um, it does seem to snap together reasonably well. The top part wasn't quite as good as the uh, the bottom part, but but no problems uh, that I could really see. Obviously, got no labels or no branding on it. Let's give it a test on the charger. So we've got a flashing green light. Uh, let's see what we can get. So that seems to be charging up okay. It says that it's less than 80%. Let's just give it a bit of a burl on the uh, old drill. Right, okay, well, that wasn't too bad at all. Around about um, half an hour overall to, to get that uh, done. Now, and this is going to be a really quite high capacity battery. Um, and at the price, uh, look this up uh, currently, uh, I bought this for 17 US dollars. Um, each of the cells I'll have to put up on the screen as to how much they were. But and, and you have to compare that obviously to uh, the capacity and cost of a brand new Makita branded battery. And whether you think that's uh, a good buy or not. What do you think? Comment below if you like. Give us a like. See you on the next one. Ta-ra now.